Now this one, let me just bring you down a bit. It's got colour on it. It says thank you. And the the people that are on there are doctors and nurses and medical sort of people who are working in the medical profession. I believe that this was one of the many COVID coins that came out from around the world. It's a lovely idea. I think that the British government should have bought one out thanking the NHS staff for what they've done and I'm, and I'm continuing to do. This one is from Samoa. It's dated 2020 and it has a, a, it has a, a value of half a dollar. And it has the it has a crown underneath the Queen's portrait. This one I think might actually be a coin that you can actually use. I may be wrong. And it may be that this coin is just a commemorative coin, not um, not one for usage. The reason why I'm having a problem with them saying that this is these are coins are for me a coin has to be able to be used to purchase items. I'm not sure that these three coins, which are the two outsized 20p's and the Samoa half dollar, I'm not, let me just zoom out, get all three in at once, there we go. I'm not sure that these three coins will be accepted by retailers on either Gibraltar or Samoa. Now, if they're not accepted as legal tender, so to speak, for, to allow you to purchase goods, can they be called coins? Tell me down below what your feeling is. Because even if you look at the British commemoratives, you could say the British there's a lot of British commemoratives that are never released. But the simple fact of the matter is, if you broke open an insulin 50p out of the blue cardboard packaging that comes from change checker in, you could still purchase 50 pence worth of goods from a shop. It wouldn't make much sense since it's cost you nearly 7 quid, but you could do it. These, I'm not so sure you could actually take it to a shop and purchase goods in those countries. So those two there, which are the outside 20p's, I'm not sure any Gibraltar um, uh, shopkeeper would allow you to get 20p's worth of goods off them. This is the one that may be a coin. The Samoan one. I don't know enough about Samoa to say whether this, with this specialised background as a thank you, is actually classified as a coin that you could use to buy goods. So, in summing up, they had the box originally on sale for £249. Is it worth it? Definitely not. Is it worth the 20 quid I spent on it, the £23 or, or £25 with postage and what have you? It's more likely that these coins are probably worth that amount. No, sorry, the, medallion, uh, the medals are possibly worth that sort of amount. I don't believe that the zero euro note is worth that much, maybe a quid or so, a couple of quid at tops. The two outsize 20p's, I'll keep those, and the reason I'll keep them is because they're so unusual, in a sense that they are so outsized that they're almost outrageous in effect. The Samoan coin I'm quite happy to keep. As for the rest of it, I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. I was expecting quite a bit of um, stuff to do with uh, 
collections of memorabilia type stuff and I got I got a sh load of it sugar load of it am I happy no I think they're pretty awful coins to be brutally honest I don't think they have any great value to them to me personally and they go on sale for ridiculous amounts of money uh, but that may be just me and I'm not a collector of this sort of thing the I can see the two medallions from the Guardians series and the two medallions uh, from the Marvel comics I can see those going to people who enjoy those particular items so people who buy Marvel comics and collect them may well like these coins people who watch the Guardians uh, TV I'm, I'm not sure there were a TV series I think it was and or a series of short films I can see people who enjoy that series a bit like people who look, like Star Wars enjoying those coins I can even see these small uh, Disney coins being enjoyed by people, young children who watch the films on a regular basis and perhaps even big Disney fans enjoying these coins and perhaps they could be used if you bought a box like this for stocking fillers or silly gifts, you know, little secret Santa gifts that you may have. Will they be staying in my personal collection? Probably not. I will find people who like them and sort of allow them to have them or if somebody wants them desperately and wants to do a swap for other coins with me then I'm up for that. The ones I'm really disappointed in are the War Poppy collection stuff. The pictures on them, the photographs on the back are stuck on and they're done quite crudely. The Dunkirk one about the little boats isn't quite so bad. That would be the only other, this one here, this will be the only other coin that I will put into this one. These two war poppies, having been an ex serviceman, I'm very, very disappointed in their quality. And for what they're supposed to represent, they're very poor in doing it, so I'm not happy with them at all. They've. Um, really are quite crude in the way that they've been put together as i say the rest of the stuff doesn't interest me personally so i wouldn't i will not be keeping them in my collection i'll i'll be using them uh, as uh, you no know, if, if people who if for instance if i know kids who like disney characters i may well let the kids have these these seven co uh, these five coins if anybody uh, has a likes um, likes Marvel or the superhero type stuff then I've got four coins there that they could possibly may want for their series for their collections so is it worth it overall for 23 quid sorry 23 to 25 pound which is what I paid for it yes it probably is there is value there However, I am very disappointed in a lot of this. I think it could have been a lot better. I think my viewpoint is probably very negative in the sense that I feel that they're dumping the stuff that they weren't able to sell. That's my personal opinion. Now, whether it is or not, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But it's my opinion that, you know, you get two Lumieres, one coloured, one uncoloured. You know, so <coughs> it looks to me as if they had a hell of a lot of Lumieres, so they're just dumping them. Now, I saw one other person do a box like this, and it was Lightly Collects, I believe, and he had a very similar brace of coins, uh, medallions and uh, coins, as they call it. I have doubts, as I said, that they are coins, but I'll leave that down to you. Do you believe they are? And should they be treated as coins? Please let me know in the comments below. 
I'm sorry if I sounded a bit negative, but this is the way that I feel on this review. Yes, I believe there is value there, but it's not what I would want normally to spend money on. Uh, because this sort of stuff doesn't interest me. So out of it I've got, out of 25 pieces I've got one bank note which is of a zero value. I've got two oversized 20p's. I've got a Samoan half dollar and I have a memorial coin of Dunkirk. Uh, well not a coin, a memorial medallion of uh, Dunkirk. So that's what, uh, six pieces out of 25. The rest of it does not interest me. It just isn't what I would call good enough. And as I said, I feel this, that this is a, a, uh, has been used as a dumping ground for stock they haven't been able to sell. However, well, I won't leave you on a downer. There will be people interested in this, and for the money that I paid, which is only £25 at tops, it isn't as bad as it would have been. If I'd have paid the full 140 odd quid that they were asking, or said they were asking for it, I would have been tearing my hair out with... I'd have been absolutely soul-destroyed, thinking I'd wasted so much money. But for 25 quid, I can live with it because I can give this stuff away and hopefully uh, it may make a couple of kids very happy to receive the Disney coins and the um, people who enjoy comics, superhero comics, may well enjoy the four coins from the, uh, from the superhero series. Okay, just to read you this uh, ending because I don't think it was recording properly. Take it from now. I'm keeping six of the items. Five coins on the banknote, or five metal coins on the banknote. I got these to possibly give to young children who enjoy Disney, or slightly older people who enjoy the hero superhero stuff. They might be good for stocking fillers as well for people that, uh, or little daft gifts for friends of mine. I might even uh, say in a later video towards Christmas, if there's anybody who wants certain ones, then they can just write and ask me for them in the comments. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Anyway, in the meantime, if you are doing a coin hunt, I hope you are successful and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins from anywhere, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price that you want to pay. Until we meet up again, hopefully on this channel in the not too distant future. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.